Welcome back. Well, we finally got the feathers. I've been talking about this for quite a while. These things are really cool. Uh, I did a video about this a long, I don't know, year or two, two or three years ago, I don't know, about stacking feathers and making these. Basically, you know, this is a little perch swim bait, trying to get more realistic barring on a fly, right? And so I showed people how to do this by stripping feathers and marrying, this is two feathers. I stripped the darker spots out, laid it over a feather. And then I, I showed another one where I took a, a Sharpie and I was doing perch. Perch are the, in, in my experience from mounting fish, you know, I've, I've done that most of my life. One of the most predominant things I see in a fish is in a trout stomach, where they exist are perch. And a lot of times we're perch where I didn't think it was possible to have a fish, you know, have a fish that far up a river. And so I showed how to bar these, and this was another thing here. And I showed that to the guys at MFC, and they said, you know, we've got a new process on how to do this, and laser jet for feathers. And I thought, well, that'll be <clears throat> impossible. And I was wrong, because as you can see, there's, there, it's infinite. This is, it's absolutely staggering. Uh, this one right here is by far my favorite to look at just from to see there's three different colors in this thing and it, I mean black red white black red white replicating that down you know that barring pattern and then I, I'm a I, I just love yellow right and so these were the two I did originally on the on the uh, videos and so because I like perch stuff and this stuff's really really cool you know you can you can see how easy it will be to work this out I have no idea where our colors are going to end up and then you know, as far as pretty much anything I want, it's going to be pretty cool. And so these were these were two different things here. I did a uh, these are shad tails and shiner tails. If you look at a shiner tail, you'll see that it's almost always orange or red. And so just forked that, come out, and you get this incredible just just for a shiner tail. And these were the same thing because I, I just I'm a junkie for yellow when it comes to brown trout. And so I'm going to do shad in this color. But then this one was a crawfish tail, all right? So these were just to do pinchers out of feathers instead of uh, fur or whatever, you know, whatever you're using, bunny or whatever you're going to use. But like I said, this is the first run. We got these in. We'll post them up tomorrow. Uh, we got a ton of them in, all the colors. Another thing, and I just kind of jumped over it, but, and these are going to be, these are, for me, are going to be kind of simple flies. I'm not going to overcomplicate this fly because the feather's going to be, what I'm going to be, you know, trying to feature in the in the profile of the uh, fly, but in the chartreuses, in these saltwater colors, this is going to be a game changer on the saltwater. I mean, it's going to be incredible because you're going to have all kinds of the brighter colors here. They're going to be really easy to work with. I just I showed this little paddle tail. Most of you know that I'm not afraid of fish gear and love it, and I particularly like paddle tail uh, soft plastics. And they've, they've gotten to the point now where they're so realistic, it's incredible, right? So I just, I took this thing and I laid it up next to this. And this is, this is what I was talking about, how simple I'm going to make these flies. This is a little bit more complicated because I was trying to get the perch, you know, pectoral fins and all that crap in there that's probably not really that necessary. But it's fun to do. But I'm going to tie one and show you what I do, how, how simple it is. But this is just a... a I mean, this is about as basic of a fly as you can possibly make. It's got a brush body. It's got a little, you know, just a, a bucktail wing with a little bit of flash underneath it. And then just a senyo's head and that feather. I mean, the idea here is to feature the feather, not all the other crap around it. Because this is the, when you look at these things, they're pretty much the same thing, right? There's, it's, this is what you're featuring. This is what you're trying to emulate. And so that's this whole feather. So I'm thinking these flies are going to be pretty simple to tie. I've got, a, I've got one I'll show you. I just tied one up a minute ago and took it out back and Braden filmed it in the water. And you'll see it going by and it's basically just a body, a little bit of bucktail, tail, and then the, the, the feather tail and a cone head. The thing was, swims like a, a demon. And it's a lot like, I don't know what I did with that, what I do with that fly. This thing, I don't even remember what I called this way back when. This fly was super successful for me. It didn't catch on commercially so much, but I still fish this to death. I mean, I love this thing, especially in the green. And I'm going to have a lot of them like this coming out. But more than anything, it gives you an opportunity to just work with a feather that's really simple to get, 
will have endless color selections. And so you're going to get an incredible body shape, really easy to work with. I think there's five uh, or ten to a set. I think there's uh, either five or six. I haven't, I haven't count one. I think it is, though. I think it's five. We'll put that up on the when I do it. And so you get five match sets, and I had 12, 14 bucks. I'm not sure what they are. Uh, I have any, This is my sample pack, and I'm just going to get the rest of them in. They're, they're in the back, and we'll show them all tomorrow. We'll put the prices up there for you. But really exciting new product. I think you're going to love it. going to make some really, I mean, there's going to be some really innovative flies come out of this stuff. All, all my guys are already starting to drool over it and figure out stuff. So hope you like it. Hope it helps you out.